MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball brings us. Mike Clevenger, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matty V, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been like white hot. How about a whip under 1.00 in his last three starts? Not a lot of base runners, and that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Good speed at first and good speed with the guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. Turned on down the line, but this will wind up foul. Still 0 and 2. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. This one's flared off to the right side. Myers has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. Next, it'll be Dave Parker as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Called strike at the knees, one and one. Guys, the swing and friars as they take the field here tonight. They are in the midst of a pretty bad stretch as they've dropped six straight coming in. The one one. On the ground to second base. This could be two. One there on to Hosmer, but it'll come too late to get them both. No real chance from the roll two that time. He's just too quick coming out of the batter's box. You basically have to make a perfect turn on a hard hit ball to double him up. Now they need to keep an eye on him over at first. And that'll get down for a base hit. And a relay home. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. That is good. The catcher. Sometimes the first pitch is the best pitch you'll see all at bat. Definitely coming out of his shoes. Aggressive style. First pitch. Base hit up the middle. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Ready with the 0-1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Myers is after it. He's got it. And they get out of the jam. Bryce Wilson is the man on the mound for the Pirates in this contest. What do we need to know here, Danny? This guy is known as the Road Warrior. And you can see why. He's been awfully good on the road this year. So I would expect him to pitch very well in this one here. In there at the knees, 0-2 now. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. Castro will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Batting second. No Set left. to get his evening at the plate Tommy. started. Tommy Pham tried to get yeah. it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. Dero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Tommy Pham becomes the second out of the bottom of the first. Manny Machado is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Hey, that's a heck of a pitch right there. If, he, if he's able to execute with that type of velocity, fastballs up and in, I can't imagine. Not only is he going to break a ton of bats today, but he's going to open up that down and away with the soft stuff later in the game. The next 0 2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Three. Stepping up is Willie Stargell. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. So bases are empty with one gone. And up next is Key Brian Hayes. 
swing and a miss on the slider nothing in one. Fastball swung on and ground out towards second. And quickly there are two away. Digging in next, Bill Mazeroski. And he'll be one to watch out for in this one. Very good numbers in recent games. Swing and a liner. And he will run this one down as he pulls it in around the left. First pitch coming. Here it is. Jake Cronenworth is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. Batting, pitch. That was a three pitch right strikeout field. and with the kind of Weird. stuff that he has it's not uncommon Fire. for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. And he fouls this one off and he comes in as a player to watch out for hitting well over 300 on the season. That softly hit to right will that get down. Mazeroski ranges back and he has it for route number two. Eric Hosmer to the plate now and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Fouled away. Bottom of the second here with no score. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Clemente is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. Padres down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. So here now is the pitcher, Bryce Wilson. Nine, one, and two do up. The pitcher, number 48. First delivery to him. Good slider there gets a swing and miss. So far this season, Wilson has proven to be one of the best hitting pitchers around. Get this, his average up over 300. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with the batting average on the season, but he's found a way to get on base north of 350, working walks with an unbelievable eye at the dish. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0 2 count, heater caught too much of the zone. And he struck him out. Classic slider down and away for the strikeout there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Into the box, Rodolfo Castro. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He singled to open up the ball game. Wind up and the 0 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Mariznik is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now that the center fielder, Roberto Clemente. Next, it'll be Roberto Clemente. Flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Got to be careful with this guy here. He can really handle the bat. Even though there are two outs, he might try to drop one down for a base hit. Skied into straightaway right. Myers finds some space out there for the catch to retire. We're back as the Padres lineup readies for their third turn with the bats. And unfortunately for them, this club has had its issues on offense. Entering the day, they're having troubles in two significant areas, on-base percentage and strikeouts, both of which they rank near the bottom of the league. 
One coach told me they're doing everything they can to make adjustments, most notably by having more patient at-bats. He said there are times to be aggressive early in an at-bat, but for the most part, we need to do a better job of working the count. We have to draw more walks and get into better hitters' counts. That's something to keep in mind as we watch them the rest of the way, guys. Batting eight. Good stuff, Heidi. Good Thanks. Austin. Austin Nola is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. As this game progresses, I don't think he's going to want to miss in that spot down the middle of the plate much more. It's early. They're a little less aggressive right now, so he's able to get away with it. And he struck him out as well, so the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. First pitch on the way. The pitcher. Mike Clevenger is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Behind 0-2 now. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. And that brings in the Cobra, Dave Parker. The old adage, pitching and defense have been stellar so far. They've certainly kept both offenses in check. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. And you see on the graphic right there that his hitting streak will indeed live on as he just continues to hit the ball well. Yeah, he certainly has. He's seeing the ball so big, Matty. You see the confidence oozing off him in the box. He hasn't fished at anything in the last month or so. So I don't expect this to go away anytime soon. Next to bat will be Jason Bay as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. Over to Hosmer, a double play. That's not the guy you're going to see doubled off very often. So that was a quick turn at second base. Good transfer and a strong throw. In now, Jason Kendall. As he grounds one briskly to short. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Infielders are taught from the time they hold the glove that you've got to play the ball and not let the ball play you. You can see here that this one just ate him up and he couldn't recover in time. So now to the plate, Willie Stargell on the ground up the middle. And the off-balance throw will be too late, so a good effort that time, but it's an infield single. And as you see right there, that'll push his hitting streak yet another game as he has been on fire this month. You know what, Matty? I don't see it at any time soon. we got to take a look at the upcoming matchups, but this guy is absolutely locked in the plate. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. So here's Adam Frazier. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last well, inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not patient. sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing Frazier. a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Hayes is over and puts it away for the first down. Up next for the Padres, the left fielder, Tommy. Pham. So one out and nobody aboard. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. 0 oh, and 1 the count. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Pham carries a batting line little over the 260 mark. 
And he gets okay. him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight being aggressive early on and if he continues to throw strikes like he is he's going to have a pretty good night. So he gets the swinging the strikeout on the changeup. Tommy Pham goes down for route number two in the bottom half. Oh he chased a bad pitch that time it's strike one. Swing and a miss it's 0 and 2. Man this pitcher is on right now pounding the zone attacking these hitters he's making it look easy out in front of that one may have been looking fastball good job just to make contact and he struck him out his eighth punch out of the ball game and that one ends the inning and back at Petco Park in San Diego as we check in with Heidi Watney now to the plate Bill Mazeroski he'll start off the fifth in this one First delivery to him. High and deep to right center. After it is Marisnik. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Bryce Wilson. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 and 1. It's no wonder this guy's pitch count is so low. If they keep swinging on the first pitch, he's got a real chance to go deep into this one. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. To third. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Stepping in now, Rodolfo Castro. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. But he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. Next up, Roberto Clemente. He's hit this in his two at bats so far. First delivery to him. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Set with the 0-1. Lined hard to center field. Marisnik able to track it down for the third. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. First pitch of the A-B now. Jake Cronenworth will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Ready with the 0 2. Fouled off. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. 4, 5, and 6 coming up this part of the lineup. And it's fouled away. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. So it was a strikeout swinging. Jake Cronenworth oh is retired five. for the first out in the bottom yeah. half of the fifth. Will Myers oh, yeah. is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0 and 2. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to leave as an offense. You just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on now strikes man. thus far. The first baseman. Aaron. Popped him up. Hosmer. Kendall is over to take a look. And no one will track it down. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Wow, that's four straight K's. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can oh, this guy on the mound. He is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down. All set for the start of the inning. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Dave Parker. Grounded softly to the right. And he'll reach first safely. That 
at the plate now. Jason Bay. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. Standing in now, Jason Kendall. Strike taken to throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Hard on the ground towards short. Reined in. Only play will be to first as we'll see our first run score here as this is a one nothing ball game. Really good job of putting the ball in play right there. Even though it wasn't a base hit, it does bring the go-ahead run for his team. So next to hit is Willie Stargell. He's one for two in this one. Strike called. Now the throw down. He's well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. A man at third with one away. Hit hard on the ground to second. Only play going to be the first so score it as an RBI ground out as the lead moves to two to nothing now next to hit key Brian Hayes he started out the evening 0 for 2 so far stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases he takes the turn and heads for second and he's not stopping he wants three and he is in to third with a two out triple and now indication from the dugout that they'll issue the free pass and with the pitcher on deck that'll force their hand here with two gone now batting. here comes the Padre manager up out of the dugout heading for the mound and we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight He'll depart after five and two thirds as it'll be up to the bullpen to keep his guys in the ball game. Now a flare out toward right center. Frazier has got it and the side is retired. Here's the first pitch to him. Jake Marisnik is at the plate now and he's quickly behind 0 and 1. Marisnik. That's in there and he's deep in the hole now 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. Now batting, catcher, Austin. Austin Nola will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Throw in time at first for route number two. Fernando Tatis Jr. will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. First pitch on its way. The average not quite where he wants it down in the 220s. Ten home runs and an even 20 RBIs. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. You know over the course of a full season you're going to have some clunkers and this certainly looks like one by the look on the manager's face. He's going to probably call a meeting after this. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone. Trevor Cahill is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Seventh inning ready to roll. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Rodolfo Castro. Out in front of it, strike one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. Just an absolute laser that time, screaming off the bat, if you will. And Showtrack tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. Into the box now, Roberto Clemente. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful, giving them that three-run cushion. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. Throw into third. 
And he's out on a strong throw. I mean, boys, that just can't happen at third right there. Guy was out by a mile. You really have to start to question his decision making. On the other side, the defense is like, thank you very much. Into the box, Jason Bay on a line to shortstop, and the runner gets back. No double play. Now that is catcher Jason Kendall. He's set and the pitch as he'll send a ground ball down to third. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Pirates get just the one, and that's all. Last half of the seventh here, and that brings up Adam Frazier. That's popped up. Hayes trying to get there, and this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Clemente is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Up next to the Padres, the left fielder, Tommy. Next to the plate for the Padres, yeah. Tommy Pham. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Hey, it's really hard to pitch a gem. And what helps? This guy's first pitch strike percentage, how about 100%? Can't get any better than that. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. Digging in now for San Diego. Manny Machado. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Strike one to start the at bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. Jeez, finally! That's the first ball they've taken all night. Do it again, I dare you! Ground ball right side. And that's a base hit, so the perfect game bid ends in the seventh. Throw gets him there from short right field. A nice play, and that one ends the inning. Tough play, but he handled it beautifully at second base to finish. Austin Adams has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. So now to the plate, Willie Stargell. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. This is lined to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. Dan, this guy's on fire. I used to say all the time it's about 150 ABs to 200 ABs where you start figuring out what type of season you're going to have. He's obviously in May, and he's on fire. d he's been locked in from day one of this season. It's continuing right now. Anything that is around the strike zone, he feels he can get the barrel to it, and he continues to hit line drives. Next up is Bill Madaroski. No hits to this point. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Action now in the Padre bullpen as it looks like a right hander is getting loose out there. Ready with the 1 0. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Tried to make it home when he shouldn't have, and now they've got him hung up. He is in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. To the plate now, Bryce Wilson. As he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center. Myers is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher's stuff. And here's one that misses to the Friar shortstop. It's a ball and a strike. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, 
When you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Hayes has a tough play, but he ranges back to put it away for the first out. The bat. The right field. So here's Will Myers. Yeah. He flew out his first time around oh, and yeah. then was a strikeout victim most recently. And he fouls this one off. No runs, no hits, and one error for the Padres so far. Called strike two with the letters. 0 and 2 now. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. Got him. Four outs away from his date with history. We're getting into the nitty gritty. That's the second out of the oh, eighth inning, the and the pitcher needs only four base more base. outs for Aaron. a no hitter. Fouled away. Mosmer. On its way is pitch number 75. Hey. Strike two. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. Got him. So that's eight perfect innings, and the fans can feel it now as this. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Rodolfo Castro. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. Hot shot on the ground is short, and that is in the left field. So the leadoff man's aboard to kick off the ninth. Hey guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. Stepping in now, Roberto Clemente. He swings and grounds it to short. Fielded cleanly to Frazier at the bag. Over to Hosmer, a double play. Doesn't come much easier than that. Taylor made 6-4-3 double play and an easy one to turn. No balls and a strike to count. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Swing and a shot toward right center. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Emilio Pagan takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Well, he hit that one pretty well. All the way out to the warning track and clear. Oh, and he's into third safely with the stolen base. How about that for making something happen? First, he rips a double. Then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. Oh, that grounder got him. Safe at first. A good effort to recover there, and he almost made the play, but that's a base hit. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Swing and a hot shot toward third. That gets down and the inning will continue. So he waited till the ninth the inning, but he comes through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Yeah, Matty B, you see that wry smile of him coming out of the box right there. He knew what was on the line. He'd be lying if he did it. But there's a lot. Of and both runners are safe. The double steal executed perfectly. From the belt, the pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they'll add another as this is now a 5 nothing game. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Key Brian Hayes. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Right at the third baseman, and that. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And up next, the center fielder, Jake Marisnik, fouled off. Jake Marisnik. The 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Now the 0-2 pitch. Another one sent foul. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. And it's fouled away. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. Now here's the first offering. The catcher. 
Oh, Austin Nova is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. And he fouls this one off. Ready with another two strike offering. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. Well, he's really rolling on the mound right now. All you have to do is look at the last four hitters for evidence. All four of them have gone down on strikes, as you're seeing here. That's not easy to do, so you know he's got to be pretty dialed in out there. Trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. He's one pitch away from striking out the side, but even more than that, to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs, I can't tell you. San Diego down to their final strike. Strike three called, and it's over. He's pitched a perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful.